Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Uniquely Lady Charlotte, and I am, I'm sorry, I am sitting at the airport, and uh, another airport, a different airport, not Charlotte Douglas, and um, waiting on the plane to come in so I can catch a, catch a ride. But I wanted to tell you guys what I did yesterday. All right, um, yesterday I went up to Albemarle, and I think it's Albemarle, Rockwell, Granite Quarry, and, and all that stuff. I went up there, didn't get anything. Um, I also, I think I told you, I also um, listened to some webinars online to keep me abreast of things in my field, in my career field, my current career field, because I may be changing my career field, who knows. Um, that was very useful. I learned a lot yesterday just by writing. One of the subscribers, thank you, um, suggested reading books while I was um, driving, you know, audio books. Dang, that thing hurt. That thing is hurting. All right, maybe if I keep, stop messing with it. Got one coming in right there. I'll tell you what, that alkaline water, I, I might need to pull back from the fountain or something. Got me busting all out. Anyway, so instead of doing the, um, let me get back, instead of doing the audio books, and I still will do that eventually, I decided to do um, webinars um, so I can stay abreast. So, I'm thinking also about this. And you guys tell me what you think. Be honest. I'm thinking about going as a contractor to um, work with those that are mentally disabled. Um, it's another word for it, and I can't think of the word right now because I don't want to sound. I don't want to. I don't want to sound that way. But my daughter, uniquely Lady Shin Shin used to work for a company that would go to people's houses and they would take their, their family member or kids. You know, you get a choice to work with a family member, I mean an adult or a child, and you take them um, out in the community and you do stuff with them. You know, you take them to the library, you take them to the park, you, you know, you go do stuff, skating, shopping, whatever. You just take them out in the community for a few hours and do something. I'm thinking... I have the patience for that. I've never done it before, but I have the patience for it. So I'll look a little bit more into that. Also, I'm going to continue taking the Excel, to take the Excel classes at home. I don't think I'm going to go back to Goodwill and take those classes. I'm just going to do it at home. Um, YouTube has some wonderful Microsoft online was great. So I'll probably get back into the Microsoft when I go home. Um, I'm starting to feel okay with being out here on my own doing the flying squirrel. I'm starting to feel okay. And I can definitely see where God is jumping in and making things work out. I was thinking today when I was pumping gas how I have so much less than what I had, but I also have more. I can't quite figure it out, but I, I knew this. It couldn't be nobody but God. It couldn't be nobody but God, you know. I haven't been stressed. I'm feeling good. Opening my eyes to new options. Like if I don't get the job that I really want, that I want, that's not to say that 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 maybe God doesn't have that in his plans for me. But if I don't get that job, then I saw something interesting today. I actually saw where this particular gas station, they're starting assistant managers off with 41000 a year and you get paid every week. I'm like, hmm. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll think about that a little more. But it doesn't sound bad. It doesn't sound bad at all. Um, looking into more contract work, but now I have to find some type of insurance. Well, I could find some group plan. Uber had a group plan, plan with, with um, I think, Stride or something like that. So I can find something. I'll find something. I just haven't taken the time, but I am now. I am now. I got up this morning early. I left, you know, left the house probably about 7 o'clock. And um, before Scotty left, he says, what you doing? Every time I get up in the morning, he'll say, what are you doing? Where are you going? Going to work. He's like, and he always repeated it, work. I work. I work. I get out here and I work. 
He's like, well, yeah, you do. You do. It's the same question every morning. Where are you going? Well, I can't make money laying in this bed. I got to go. So, hmm. hey, it takes a strong person to get up every morning. Some people have that spirit to get up and go do it. Some people don't. Well, I got that spirit. I was born with that spirit to get up and go. Got to go make it happen, make something shake. That's how I say I got to make something shake. Got to figure out a new way to, to make some money. So, other than that, living the dream, freedom, living the dream. He asked me yesterday, he said, oh, what time you got to be at work? I said, whenever I want to. He said, that's the type of job I want. I said, well, that's the type of job I work. I said, the pay ain't always great. And then some days it is. He was like, wow, that sounds so free. He said, I'm glad you're happy, though. I said, I'm happy. I'm happy now. I wasn't at first, but I'm happy now. So, anyway, I'm going to fill my voids in with um, some other contract work, like I said, and then create an Excel spreadsheet <laughs> with, a different, um, with a different contracting jobs and then look at my income that way. It's going to work out. I just got to put it all together. Also, I'm, um, I'm writing down some rules for the traveling, for ULC's Traveling Book Club. I'm going to open up a, a Facebook web page. I mean, a Facebook page. And um, we're going to meet on there, on that platform, and create different groups depending on the book you got so we can talk about it and stuff. But I'm still working on that. Um, then when you email me your address or something, I'll... I'll um, email you back the rules, the written rules. All right, I'm going to go. It's about time for that plane to land. So, well, there's the little one, but it's about time for the big one to land. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later, and I got some funny stuff to tell y'all about yesterday.